So again, while I open this up, I'm gonna to talk to you guys honestly. So the, the customer dropped this off. And before you, yeah, look at this. <laughs> look at this, regular wood screw. Uh, this is like the tiniest of wood screws that you could get. Uh, just real quick again, talking while we do it. The customer, right when he was leaving, he said, Vic, my budget is $300. And 300 is gonna be a little rough. I told him I could probably only do the LED buttons. The LED buttons alone cost me like 85 bucks. So, I mean, you gotta take my time into consideration to wire it and everything. So, LED buttons alone, 85 bucks. The SD card alone is about 25 to 30 bucks, making sure you get a good one. But, you know, I, I try to help guys, but I mean, we have to be realistic. My thing is, let's see. There's no instruction on how to open this. I hope I'm not breaking it. And this is what is inside this arcade cabinet. Interesting. Let's take it closer. We basically do have a Dell. Looks like there's a Dell bar. There's a Dell volume bar. There is an LED strip inside of here. So again, we do have a Dell uh, sound setup with the wheel going on over here. We have our screen here. We just have a bunch of wires going on. Uh, three, what is this? Velcroed in three outlets. So that means you have one for the volume, you have one for the TV, and you have one for the Pi. I wonder how this is getting power. Right, so that means that he has his LEDs hooked up to the Pi? Does it? No, he doesn't. The biggest concern I told the guy, I said, what Pi is this running? This is just Velcroed in. This is running... Is this a Pi 3? Yes, it is running a Pi 3, so at least he got that right. Let's see the SD card, 32, yep. There we have it, guys. That's the first thing. First thing off the bat is a 32 gigabyte SD card. I knew that was gonna be inside of it because in all honesty, there's almost zero games to this thing, so. That's the first thing. Um, I mean, we don't knock Velcro. Velcro is pretty nice. These cases for these pies are just black. I think he has the LEDs hooked up by the USB encoders. Um, I normally do like to use my Zinmo, but if I do remove the LED encoder, we're gonna have to modify these plugs possibly. Um, this right here, I'm not gonna do anything. Let's see how he did this. Let's see what this guy used. A couple of little L brackets that you could probably find at Ikea. Small wood screws. Custom made kind of mount going on over here. This looks like MDF. It looks like this is glued. This is actually glued in. Yeah, this is glued. I'm not gonna touch that because we don't have to touch that. That's already set. My only concern is I can't see. Oh, here it is. Oh, there's a wire here. There's a wire going. We have a black wire going into the LED strip. All right, let's flip this and let's take a look at the control panel. Again, we got the control panel. I'm hoping that it'll come off easy, but basically it looks like there's two screws here. We got one, again, tiny screws. You can come in, it's okay. Got number two. Got number three. And we got number four. All right, so we got screws off. I'm gonna take the control panel off. It's just tightly snug. I'm gonna take you guys closer in on this and uh, we got our USB encoders glued into it. That's where this ugly glob of glue came in. Joysticks are pretty nice. Got real micro switch buttons, so I give them kudos to that. We got some jankness right now. This actually, look at the screw that he's using. This is a square headed screw. I don't know if I have a bit for that. Look at how the plexiglass is being held into place. Not even too sure. I mean, this right here, the, the, I'm assuming that the control panel went in between this. So we have to just hope that this guy's measurement is right. But real quick, let's take a look real quick as I got closer to the screen. Look at that. 
Syncmaster 958 Sharpied out. This right here for your bezel, the glare is killing me right now. The bezel right here is paper bezel. I wanted to take that out, but this is actually glued. There's an actual bead of glue on this, so this will not be coming out. Unfortunately, I can't. I was going to put red, but I can't do anything. This is literally glued to it. Um, again, look at this. Square head. My objective was to possibly, maybe we could pull this back. But I, I, I really can't. I can't do anything. I can't. My, like, my biggest concern right now is where can we put our LED strip just to give them some underglow. I just broke something. It, that's all. That's it. It's in. What is holding this thing in is the screw. There's a screw here. That bottom screw, that's what's holding that piece in. So I unfortunately, I can't do anything with this. There's not enough lip room to put an LED strip. Oh, man, I gotta tell this guy. I I I am I can't do anything. LED wise, unless I put feet underneath the bottom of this to raise this up a little bit. But I I can't do what I normally do. Again, there's no lip. I have no lip to put LED strips. So the LED underglow is not gonna happen. Oh man, I don't even have these screws. Take a look right here again. We got we got USB encoders. Pretty good stuff. I mean, basic stuff. Where is that's what I to, I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find out where this. Oh, here it is. He's got a USB LED strip. That's what it is. So that's powering that. An LED USB strip is powering up this. Um Damn, I feel bad now. Basically all I could do with this is that we're gonna take this apart. Maybe I could keep, maybe we could keep this, but I'm stuck guys. I, I, there's some weird encoding on the control deck. Don't know what's going on here. L, Y, so left, Y, five, six, four, five, six. I mean, I don't know if that's some coding that I should worry. Well, I don't have to worry about it. It's just a piece of wood, but I mean, again, I don't know what to tell you. I'm really, see, there we go. See the screw? This screw right here is what's holding the deck in. I don't even know how somebody could even measure that out. Like, how did you know <laughs> to put the screw in that exact spot? Nobody will find out. Nobody will know. Something's blocking me. I can't even close it now. And this was, I wanted to, I wanted to see if I could move this piece, this does move, but it's not going to be enough room. The piece of wood is just too big. There's nothing I could do with this. I, I can't. All I could do is change the SD card and the buttons. Okay, so we got the control panel free. I'm already taking that thing apart. I luckily found a square bit. never seen that before it's just it's literally a square it's literally a square head to it i mean the only thing i could do is have a tilt on this maybe bring it closer let's take this out real quick plan not to use these usb encoders so we're gonna get rid of that let me just see if i put this with the mod. If I do that, I do actually have some room. I mean, again, I basically now took this. This is pointing a little bit upwards. I don't think he's gonna care too much. We could always, I can, I have to leave. This control panel must stay right in this exact spot. Yeah, we could do it. I'm gonna probably add some rubber feet to this to give it the bottom underglow, I guess, because I really can't do much else with this. There's not much other mods I could do. I'm gonna put a strip here. We're gonna raise the cabin up a little bit and we'll give the back glow. But at least we know for a fact now, let me just, let me screw this in now. So as I was just drilling this to fix this, I realized that we had to put more holes 
in this anyway for the admin keys. So there's no point in me doing this right now. We're gonna be adding more holes to this, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, we're gonna start basics. We're gonna do the control panel first. It does look like he's using Sanwa buttons. Very nice buttons. I love micro switches. I mean, these are real micro switches. Sandstar is the name of the micro switch on this. Goes right into the USB encoder. We're not gonna use the USB encoder. So we will have to modify his SD card to read uh, the Zinmo. I always do that. The deal that I made with the guy, basically the deal that I made with the guy is that I'm gonna keep his image. He's gonna have his SD card so he could always swap it in and out if he wants, but he's also getting my SD card as well. So we're gonna make sure his SD card works, which is useless, but I just like to do that just in case, you know, he has an issue with my card, he could pop in his card and it'll work. Um, right now, I'm gonna try to figure out how to take out these joysticks. Check this out. We got the, <laughs> the nut. It can't even go because of the joystick panel. Look at this. The joystick is blocking the nut. There we got it, guys. After about five minutes of beating this thing up, we took everything out. Um, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. We're going to probably put a blue carbon fiber, which is what I have. We'll probably try to reface this. And uh, yeah, we're gonna reface this. <laughs> this comes right off. Unfortunately, there's no plexiglass to this, so we're just gonna reface it. On the next episode, guys, we're gonna do the control panel and hopefully knock this out. The USB encoder is not even, well, you can't drill in USB encoders. They do have an edge to it, but he glued it. That's it, guys. Be careful what you buy out there. Let's bring this arcade back to life the right way it should have been done.